this is going to be a follow-up review of the Solar D771 servo and uh, just like the, the video that I did previously uh, of the review um, I have uh, paired it up with a Savox 1258 servo on the right uh, using the same equipment except this time instead of using a brushed speed control I'm using two identical speed controls uh, by Hobbywing these are easy run uh, 60 amp speed controls and they each put out uh, a 6 volt uh, BEC where previously I was using a 5 volt BEC so this should be a little bit more um, uh, typical for those running uh, brushless uh, systems so what, I'm, what I've also done in addition to my test is, uh, and this is all new to me, I haven't uh, done any pre-testing before, beforehand here, and what I'm going to do here is use this uh, power analyzer here, panel power analyzer here to uh, track how much watts uh, is being pulled from each servo, and then also try to find, and find out and discover uh, which battery voltage uh, seems to be the break-even point for both servo. I, uh, my prediction is that the solar uh, will will definitely need more voltage in order to pair up with the save box, but the question is what voltage would that be? So what I've done here is I've got three battery packs. The first one here is fully charged battery pack. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in um, just to verify that the, the power load is there. And hopefully this is showing up and the voltage is 8.37 volts here see if that shows up so that's the first pack the second voltage pack that I'm going to do a reading on is uh, I've discharged it down to um, 8 volts at rest and we'll see we'll show here that it's uh, showing a reading of about 8.05 volts right now so pretty as close to 8 volts at rest as that I can get the third pack that I have here is uh, I've actually fully d discharged this all the way down to low voltage cutoff, which turns out to about 7.5 volts um, at rest. And as you can see there, it's about well, almost 7.6 volts. I really couldn't get it any lower than the low voltage cutoff, so that's going to be um, the absolute lowest the battery can get under load, even though it's at rest right now. But um, uh, as far as the test is concerned. So what I've got here is I'm going to hook this up in series tethered to a single uh, parallel uh, port which goes to a single battery port source. So, I'll go ahead and plug that in in my power analyzer. And then from here, I'll plug that into my battery pack. So the first one I'm going to go with is my, full, my fully charged battery pack. And we'll see how that goes. So right now it's registering uh, 8.4 volts, no watts. So I'm going to go ahead, first I'm going to turn on the solar uh, servo. And one thing that I don't have hooked up is my high voltage input. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so a natural draw without, without any, uh, any speed on the solar servo is 0 0.1 amps or 0.8 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and put, put a load on there. And as it turns out, it looks like my wire broke. I'm going to have to tie that in. Better to break there than later. So this is a one inch off on the servo arm. So we're going to go ahead and tie this on and pray this wire doesn't break during my testing. Okay. We'll go ahead. So under load right now, it's still showing 0.1 amps and 0 0.8 watts being drawn from the servo. Full, full motion. 
the voltage actually has dropped down to 8.36 volts and the watts is the same, 0.1 amps is 0.8 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, solar servo off, disconnect power from it. So now I'm showing no watts, no 0.8 watts. So that uh, is the same. When I, when I rotate this servo for full motion, it goes up to 0.3 amps and it's showing 5 watts. I'm going to go ahead and put the load under it. Now it's showing 1.6 amps and 12 watts under load. So for some reason, the Savox is pulling more power under load where the solar does not pull any extra power. Now let's go ahead and do a speed test with high voltage input on both servos, no load, and we'll see how they perform. It looks to me like both servos are about the same speed using high voltage input on the, uh, on the solar. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to disconnect the high voltage input from the solar and we're going to go ahead and plug that directly in and this is under 6 volt BEC for both sides and we'll check the speeds and make sure I did plug that in properly Not sure why it's not working all of a sudden. Go ahead and plug the high voltage back in and make sure the servo still works. Okay, high voltage is working okay. And standard voltage. Maybe I need to disconnect my Okay, I guess there's a loose wire in my connection here. So under 6 volts, you can see that the save box is just barely, barely more. Now let's see what happens under load, how they perform 6 volt BEC. Okay, so the, you can see the save box is a little bit better. The solar started to lift it up on the first try, but it kind of ran out of oomph. So under 6 volts, the solar is not quite where it needs to be. Now let me go ahead and give high voltage. Looks like I broke the wire off on that one. But high voltage. Yeah, 2.4 watts now with the solar. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this 
wire. And under high voltage, you can, as predicted, you you can see that the solar still beats the say box even at six volts BEC. So now, now that we know high voltage definitely is a winner, just like before, um, even with the higher voltage for the say box. Now let's see what happens. At what voltage does everything uh, break even? So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the fully charged battery and now we're going to drop down to the 8 volt battery and let's see if let's see what happens here speed about the same and let's go ahead and put a load And it's a little bit closer, but still the solar is just a little bit faster with the 8 volt battery. So now, and we know that the uh, Savox wins at 6 volt, but now let's see what happens at 7.5 volt. About even on speed with no load. And let's go ahead. And this is at showing a voltage of 7.52 volts right now. Oh, it's very close. Very, very close. And with the voltage of 7.5 volts, it looks to me like still the solar is just a, barely able to beat the Savox, but it's closer. So for high voltage, still solar is going to beat um, the Savox, whether you use a 5 volt BEC or a 6 volt BEC. And then as the battery drops down to 7.5 volts under load, um, it's still gonna it's still gonna beat out the say box. Thanks for watching. And one final thing that I want to test uh, is the temperature readings. And the solar servo is at 104 degrees after all that testing, and the say box is at 103 degrees. So a 103 right on the dot, and solar is, well actually, well, 107 here, I guess depending on where I'm reading it, let me go straight on the metal. Actually dead on is 113 degrees there, and 109, 100, 109 degrees there, 109, 113. So it's about the same variance as before. Um, but uh, this is a long, uh, significantly longer test in this run. Thanks.